um, today we're going to be making a watercolour bear. Um, well, I've used watercolours, you can use whatever you've got available at home to do yours with. But um, I've chosen a bear because um, there's so many teddy bears in windows when you go around Springfield at the moment. They've become quite a symbol of the lockdown. So I've chosen a bear and he's also wearing a poppy because it's Anzac Day coming up on the 25th. So it's like a remembrance bear. It's remembering our time in lockdown, but also remembering um, all the soldiers um, and Anzac Day who gave their lives for us many years ago. So um, we'll get on with it. Enjoy. Um, you will need a pencil, some paper, uh, anything that you can colour with, like um, watercolour paints, any kind of paints, crayons. So I'm going to start with the head. Um, so you might be copying your own bear or you can copy the one I'm going to do. You want to start off with a round head and then you want to pop his ears on the top, whatever shape they might be. And then um, here we're going to add this little bit where his nose and mouth go. So it might be like quite a, a squashed circle down the bottom and then his nose might sit there. So it's almost like we've just made one, two, three circles all inside each other with some ears on top. And then um, his mouth might come down like this and then he might have some beady eyes up here. So it's all just shapes. We've just made our teddy bear totally out of circles and oval shapes. Now for the body. So his body is going to be here um, and we want that to be a little bit longer than a, than a circle and wider at the bottom. It's almost like um, a teardrop shape but with the, the top chopped off. There we go. And then his arms and legs. Now we want to make his legs look like he's sitting down. So I'm going to put his feet are going to be here which are circles. And then we're going to go back in, getting a little bit shorter there. We'll rub these lines out afterwards that we don't, don't need anymore. It's always a good idea to get everything placed in before we, we do all the rubbing out. And then his arms. So the arms are going to start off quite thin and then they're just going to hang down by his side like that. Now most teddies are stitched together so you might want to have like a seam down here and some little stitches over the top and the same for his tummy. He might be stitched together in the middle and he might have some pads on his feet that are stitched on and then by the time you've done all of those things it's just about time to rub out any lines that you don't need. So I don't need these lines here. Get those rubbed out. And um, I don't need this one. Uh, I think that's pretty good. So there he is, your teddy bear. Now I was going to make this an Anzac teddy bear, seeing as it's Anzac Day coming up. So he's going to be wearing his own little poppy, um, which is just going to have the two big petals and it's going to be pinned on to him there. Great, ready for some colour. So I'm using watercolour paints, but you can use anything to make your bear have some colour. You can use colour pencils or crayons or pastels or paint or whatever you have handy at home. Even I am scrounging around trying to find um, things that I can use. But I've managed to find some watercolour paints and I've got the colour black, brown, ochre, which is like a mustard colour, orange and yellow. So we're going to start with our darker areas on the bear first. You want to wet your brush if you're using um, watercolours. And we're going to start with the brown. And we're going to be adding it round the edges of the bear. And this is because he would be darker um, around his edges. He may even have like the tiniest hint of black in there. But when we use black, we have to be so sparing with it. You don't want to use much at all because 
it's going to it can really take over your picture if you use too much and um, we don't want to have lots of black in there we want to use brown as our darkest color if we can so I'm going to do my browns around the edges of his body and I'm just going to paint um, and speed up the footage so you can watch how I'm applying the colors but I'm going to be using um, darks around the edges and then I'm gradually going to get lighter as I come into the centre there. Okay, happy painting. trying to get the darker edges on the left hand side and the light is coming from the right so it's hitting the bear which is why everything is slightly lighter where um, the light source is coming from so I'm just building up my colour now just to give him a little bit more depth um, so I'm not really using the watercolours in the way they're meant to be used at the moment but um, we're just trying to get some colour on your bears with whatever you've got available at home. So, um, if you want the if you want the watercolours to be a little bit more transparent, you just need to add more water to them, and they will flow into each other. Um, just a little bit more depth around here, because that would be in the shadow. And um, in a minute, I'm going to put a shadow underneath him because if he's sitting on something there would be a shadow cast underneath the bear and um, it stops him looking like he's floating floating in midair then of course we've got the poppy to do as well so if you've been using colour pencils or crayons or whatever else you've got at home you can still use your colours in the same way where you're using the dark around the left hand side edges and the lighter colours around um, the other edges and that way you will start to 
can make your um, bear look a little bit more 3D. Okay, so we're just going to get the uh, red poppy painted in for Anzac Day. Then we've just got the shadow to do. Now for the shadow, um, you want to use the black, but it wants to be really watered down so that it's like um, a grey almost. And it just wants to sit underneath where your bear is. And as it comes out towards the edge of the page, it's getting lighter. But as it goes closer to the bear, we're going to get quite dark in here. That's really just going to give the illusion that he is sitting on something, not just floating. There we go. And then we just have to join that together with our water. So it can bleed out a little bit. doesn't really want to just be a black line that then goes grey. It wants to gradually bleed into your shadow There we go, and tuck there. So that's all for today. Thanks for joining us. Um, well done for doing your bear, and flick me an email if you would like to join for the next two weeks. Okay, bye. <laughs>